hi friends welcome to my channel it help Decks, and today i am going to show you the configuration of tp-link 300m wireless router to do so just connect the router with your desktop and open any web browser and type the default ip address that is 192.168.0.1 after typing the ip address you will find a firmware that is uh, like this it's the firmware of TP-Link 300M. It's showing the model number. Now it's asking the user ID and password. The default user ID is admin. That is ADMIN. The password is same. ADMIN in small. And to configure the internet, it's very easy. There will be multiple options. Don't access any of the option but the network option. Select network. And then in the WAN connection type select the static IP address after selecting that static IP address you have to enter the IP address and subnet marks and other variables that is provided by the ISP or internet service provider or your cable operator After entering this value just save the configuration. If all the variables are ok, you should be able to connect the internet. To connect the internet, open a new tab and enter the address which is provided by your cable operator or ISP to log in. In my case that is 1.1.1.1. See this is the login page that means I am connected to the internet. Here I have to enter the user id and password. After entering the user id and password, click on login. You know it. Ok. Now let's uh, go to the firmware again. Nowadays ISPs are doing one thing that uh, they are binding the your PC's MAC address with your connection. So that if you are disconnecting the cable from your PC and you are connecting the cable to any other desktop or laptop you would not be able to connect to the internet that's why now it is routers are providing this option that is MAC address binding MAC address sorry MAC address cloning it will copy the MAC address of your desktop to the router so that you will be able to connect to the internet with variable or multiple devices This is the default IP address I have already asked you 192.168.0.1 You can change this This is the pre-configured DHCP For, From this range uh, when uh, you connect your smartphones or tabs or desktops with this router They get IP address from this range You can edit this range also I am editing this range After doing the configuration, you have to reboot the router. Just reboot the router.
after the rebooting is done now you can check uh, you can you have to log in to the router again and from your uh, desktop or laptop's uh, lan card you have to disable the lan card and enable it then you can see that your desktop or laptop got the ip address from new range of dhcp disable the lan card and again enable it see that it got the ip address of 192.168.0.2 which is the new range i have created so these configurations are not mandatory if you are using the router from home use look the dhcp client list uh, with my router only my desktop is connected that's why it is showing that there are various other options like access control and all that uh, now i am going to configure the wireless or wifi uh, in every router there is a wireless name it is also called as ssid you can change it or leave it uh, as default i am changing it to admin under for wifi we have to select your region just it just that do not edit anything else otherwise you will not be able to connect to the internet now go to wireless security where you will be going to configure your password so for home use just uh, you have to select the wpa or wpa2 personal otherwise you have to assign another radius server for the security purpose uh, which is not mandatory or which is not necessary i think in case of home use or small office use in the wireless password field you just have to put a password okay i am entering the password it's a very simple password i am entering you can enter password from 8 to 63 digits save the configuration now i am connecting my smartphone with the Wi-Fi router, and if I go to the DHCP client list from there, I can see whether my smartphone is connected or not with the router. see in the dhcp client list it's uh, showing my smartphone actually in dhcp client list uh, the connected computers or devices will be shown okay so the configuration is uh, pretty simple as you see from system tool uh, i am going to sh uh, show you another option that is the password option uh, you can uh, change the default password admin to anything you want you can change the password from here uh, first you have to enter your old password that is default password admin and uh, after that you can change it as you like so this is it friends uh, thanks for watching uh, like uh, this video if you like that and subscribe my channel Have a nice day.